Hello everyone, this is Melissa from Trendline. In this video, I will take you through the process of creating a screener on the platform. We will cover everything from accessing the screener section on Trendline to adding queries and using additional features to get the most out of your screener. A stock screener helps you filter stocks based on certain criteria. These criteria can range from price trends and market capitalization to valuation ratios, profitability ratios, return ratios, and even moving averages. Trendline offers over 1,600 parameters to help you create the perfect screener for your needs. To access the screener section, hover over the main navigation bar at the top and click on screeners. Next, you will see a list of pre-built expert screeners that you can use as references before building your own. Trendline offers these in categories like most popular screeners and all-in-one screener across various categories which include DVM screeners, price and volume screeners, relative value screeners and much more. Now let's get into creating your own screener on Trendline. To do this, click on the create new screener option. You can also find this option under screeners in the navigation bar on top. To start, you need to add your screener query in this section. A query is a combination of your parameters or filters. It uses conditions like AND and OR to help you shortlist the right stocks from a large pool. To see all the parameters you can use, click on View All Parameters. You will find categories like Price and Volume, Shareholding, Technicals, etc. If you have created your own parameters, they will be available as well under Custom Parameters. Each main category has subcategories to help you choose the exact parameter you want. If you are looking for a particular parameter, you can simply use the search option to find it directly. For example, if you type day change in the query box, you will see its subcategories and options. From here, you can pick the one that suits you. Now let's input a query to begin making our demo screener. You can use conditions like AND, OR and mathematical symbols like greater than or less than as shown here. Be careful while using OR in your query. Using brackets can change the outcome. In this example, using OR with brackets gives me 23 results while without brackets, I would get 200. This is because the query interprets the parameters differently without brackets. If your screener generates too many stocks, you can adjust the query to reduce the number of results. Let's say I change the month change percentage to more than 25 in this query, the results will drop to 9 stocks. In the next step, name your screener and optionally add a brief description. You can then select your preferred stock universe from the drop-down menu. As you can see, you can choose your stocks from various indices, sectors and industries as well as from your watch list and portfolio. In the advanced and optional section, you can use the sort by option to list the results in increasing or decreasing order based on a particular parameter you have selected. Here I have chosen prefer high and month change percentage. This will show stocks with the highest month change first. You can also set the number of stocks to be displayed. If you wish, your screener can be made public. Once you have added all the required information, click Save and Finish. You have now created your screener. You will find your screener under My Stock Screener section. Now let us explore some of the additional features in the screener section. First, you can set up alerts for both pre-built and custom screeners by clicking on the alert icon. Trendline screeners are updated real-time and alerts are sent to you whenever there is a change in the stocks listed based on the alert frequency you set. To set an alert for the screener you have created, click on the bell icon. You can choose how frequent these alerts can be set for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hourly, weekly, etc. To change an alert, go to My Stock Screener Alerts. These alerts will notify you when a stock enters or exits your screener. Other features you can access are Copy, Rewind and Download. Click Copy to duplicate your screener. You can then edit the query as needed using the Edit option. The Rewind option allows you to see which stocks would have been selected by the screener during a previous period. To download your stock list and data from the screener, click this table in the Download drop-down. This lets you download the list as an Excel file. You can also customize the columns for your screener stocks using either pre-built metrics or your own under My Metrics. 
This video has covered how to create a screener and use the features on Trendline. Now visit the screener section on trendline.com to start building your own. Make the most of what Trendline offers. Thank you for watching. This is Melissa signing off.